Welcome back to another simple Canva tutorial video, everyone. In today's video, we'll show you the step-by-step -step process of creating your own coloring book in Canva for free. These books can be used if you want to sell them on Etsy or Amazon, or you can use them for your own personal use. And I'll show you two simple ways of creating these coloring books in just a couple of clicks. But before we start with the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to AppTutor for more similar tutorial videos like this in the future. So without wasting your time, let's start right away with step number one. We'll open our web browser and then navigate over to canva.com and just make sure that you are logged into your Canva account. Our job now is to click on the Create New Design option at the top right corner of the screen, but if you don't see that option, just tap on the three dots which say More, and that will open another window where we'll be able to select the design format which we need. The popular ones are the Course, Flyer, and others, but we'll be using the search bar to type coloring book and then hit enter on your keyboard. As you can see, I have four results like this coloring booklet, a coloring bookmark, a book cover, but I'm going to click on this fourth option called coloring book format and then we'll get the format which we need for our project. I've gotten a new blank design on which we'll start creating the coloring book and there are two different ways of doing this. Firstly, let's add a little border over our blank design. Select the Elements section at the left side of the screen. And now we need to add a simple rectangular shape. If you don't see it, type Shapes in here. And then you'll want to select this rectangle, or this little square shape, and add it to your design. If you don't see a square, make sure that your Shapes section is selected in the Elements section. And then you'll be able to see it. I now need a different color for this shape because the border will be black, so I'll change the shape color to a blue one or select any other color that isn't black. I'm now going to drag this over my design until it looks something like this. The next step is to click on this Border Style button, which is next to the Color option. Then select this Line Style, and now set the value to around 5 or 6 percent. If you need your border thicker, then add a higher value than 6, but I'll leave it like this because it looks decent. Now you'll need to tap on your shape color, and in my case it's blue, then find and click on this No Color option. We had now added the border, and it's time to add our animals or other things which you want your book to have. It's time to add the images to our coloring book, and I'm going to add some animals for the purpose of this video. But you can also add a school, a house, plants, or other similar things which you think will be interesting to the child. The first method of adding these images is by using the Elements section at the left side. So let's tap on the Elements at the left side of Canva, and then let's say, I want to add a lion. You can type something like lion outline or lion coloring, but if you want to add, let's say, a bird, type bird outline and so on. So once you type this into the search bar, make sure you select the graphics section here, and then you're going to get a lot of great and high quality images, which you can start to color. I'll scroll down a bit until I find an image that looks interesting. This image looks pretty cool, so I'm going to click on it in order to add it to my design, and then just drag these corners to make the animal bigger or smaller. I'm going to make it big, but also leave a little bit of space at the top of the page because we're going to add the text later on. So let's say, I want this little lion head image to be right next to my main photo. I can easily add it and see how it looks like on my page. I think that the main lion photo is more than enough, so let's remove the secondary photo and make my image bigger. This looks pretty good. And there's one more thing that I have to do. Let's make our first page of the book more aesthetical by adding some text. I'm going to type lion in here. Make it a bit bigger and center it at the top of the page. This looks okay, but since this is a coloring book that children will play with, then it's a good idea to change the font of this text to something more cartoon-like. I recommend that you scroll through these font options until you find the comic section. This will give us a list of fonts that the child is going to like, and it looks great in our coloring book, so just take your time here and select a font which you like. As you can see, this is how the first page looks like, and I like how this turned out. So this is the first way of finding and adding high quality images for our coloring book. The second way of generating these images is by using Canva's AI application. So what you'll want to do is to go over to the left side right here, and then click on this Apps section. 
Our job now is to search for an application, and that app's name is Magic Media. So once you get the search results, the app is going to look something like this, so let's tap on it to open the app. It has three sections at the top, but we will be generating our photos either through the Images section, or you can select the Graphics option. Let's first select the Images option, and then you'll have a little text box where you will be able to write a simple prompt and describe what kind of photo you want and need. Let's say I want to create a bear photo. So I'll type, make me a bear photo in black and white format for a children's coloring book. You can write every prompt like this. Just make sure you mention that it's a black and white format. You will also have two options at the bottom. One of the options is this style, and that will determine how our photo is gonna look like. You can experiment with this section and see what kind of results you get, but I won't select any specific style this time. And a very important part is to select this square option and just set this to portrait. And this will ensure that the format of our photo will be the same as the format of our design and they'll match perfectly. So I will now tap on this button called generate images and wait a few seconds until I get the results. As you can see, these are the images which Canva had created for me and you'll get four different results. So the thing which may happen is that you don't like any of these photos. So you can just go back and then enter a little different prompt with other words. But maybe you like a specific photo style from these four photos, but you don't like the photo itself. What you can do is to simply tap on the three dots on that photo and then click on generate more like this. That will then tell Canva to generate us more similar photos like that one. And just repeat the process until you get a photo which you like. I now have four very similar photos and they're all pretty good, and I think I can use them in my design, so I'll just tap on a photo and then put it over my page. But if you don't like how the images part generates your photos, then you can move over to this graphics section and then enter a prompt there. This will make us photos that are a bit different, so just enter a prompt in here. Let's say I need a lion photo once again. I'm going to type a prompt like this. Make a lion image in a black and white format for a children's coloring book. I will also write, make the lion happy, because I need a photo of a lion that's smiling. Tap on generate graphics, and also wait a few seconds until Canva analyzes our prompt and creates the images for us. You can see that these images are very different from the ones that the images section generated. They're a lot simpler and designed for our coloring book. You should now have one or more images that are ready to be added to our coloring book. But if you don't, just repeat the process until you get good results. So those are the two methods on how you can find and make high quality images, which we can use for the coloring book. You can now use these apps in the elements section, and you'll have a coloring book which you can sell on Etsy or Amazon, or you can use it personally to play with your own children. If this video was helpful to you, please consider leaving a like and I will see you in the next video.